Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the Razer Smartman, or Razer Nabu, however you want to say it. Anyways, this was announced back at CES 2014 in January. Now, one thing to note, this is still in the developer stage, and you gotta apply in their developer program to be able to get the Smart Band to program an app to do something with fitness or make a game. Now, the Smart Band will be running on Android and iOS, which is something that's very uncommon, but it's gonna be really nice to see something running on both platforms. Now, let's move on to some more specs. So, just running along some of the specs here, this has a 32 by 32 public screen that's going to show icons such as a mail or Facebook, Twitter, and even like the message or call. And then you got your 128 by 32 private screen, that's the screen that's going to be facing towards you, or the longer screen. This will show you like the text message or who is calling you, you can either like shake to dismiss or go ahead and take the call. Now, this also has an accelerometer to track how you move and for physical activity, and you can also program it to have a game in this, which is honestly pretty cool. So it also has a sleep mode built into it itself and a sleep mode for you, so that it tracks sleep, it tracks you sleeping here, and kind of just regulates what it determines as you sleeping. Now, another thing that it has here, seven day battery life. Now this is going to obviously vary upon usage, but 7 days is a lot better than like a day or two with Galaxy Gear. So when this becomes available, it should be in about 4 different colors or so. And one more thing, this is priced at $50 right now. I mean when it goes public it might be a little bit more, but $50 is definitely really cheap for a smart band. That is a lot cheaper than what we've seen so far as in $200 to $300 for smart bands. And this is going to do like a lot more because you're going to be able to customize it as an open GUI table. That's going to be able to customize apps to get tracking with the accelerometer and the vibrations in it. Which is going to be really cool to see what people are making for this as like a first person shooter or something that you can be fully interactive with. Alright, that's going to be it for this week on Razor Month. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.